10 African countries with the highest Chinese population. Over the years, Africa has witnessed a rapid growth in the number of Chinese immigrants that have moved to the continent. Most of the Chinese moving to the continent are doing this because of the economic opportunities available in Africa. When they first started arriving in Africa, majority of them came as contract laborers. However, as time went on, they continued migrating, living and working in Africa. Welcome to Afro Page and thanks for watching. In this video, we will be talking about the top 10 African countries with the highest Chinese population. If you are new to this channel, welcome, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more interesting videos. No one knows the accurate number of Chinese that are all over Africa but they are estimated to be 2 million. They started settling in the late 19th and early 20th century. Presently, there is still continuous migration to the continent to pursue various economic opportunities. Some of the Africa countries where Chinese are moving to are South Africa, Zambia, Madagascar, Sudan, Ethiopia, Angola, Nigeria, Uganda, Algeria, Chad, Mauritius, Namibia, Lesotho, Tanzania, Egypt, and Mozambique. There are also thousands of Chinese in other Africa countries like Guinea, Djibouti, Niger, Mali, Zimbabwe, Eritrea, Malawi, Senegal, Togo, Botswana, and Cameroon. Large numbers of Chinese are migrating to Africa to work and live. So in no particular order, here are the top 10 African countries with the highest Chinese population. Number 10. Uganda. One of the African country with high population of Chinese is Uganda. In 2007, there were about 7,000 Chinese living in the country but it has increased rapidly as years move by. The total population is estimated to be almost 50,000. The major expansion began in 2005 after Chinese investors included restaurant and hotel. Five years later, their investments ranked to second coming just after United Kingdom. China is a top investor in the East African country, accounting for as much as half of total foreign investment between 2014 and 2015, according to the Uganda Investment Authority. But according to Ugandan immigration officials, there's one major downside, an increasing number of Chinese men are marrying Ugandan women to gain residency and continue their business interests in the country. The biggest Chinese employer in Uganda is Zhang Hao, a native of Shenyang, who arrived in 1999 and started an import business that grew to an enterprise encompassing a restaurant, bakery, firm selling flat-screen televisions and security company. However the increased trade and number of residents has caused a backlash. The influx of shopkeepers from China has caused consternation among Ugandans who compete in retail. In July 2011, Ugandan shopkeepers in Kampala ordered a work stoppage to protest against rising prices, an unstable exchange rate, and a flood of competition by Chinese and Indian traders. The organizers of the strike, the Kampala City Traders Association, named aliens doing petty trade, especially the Chinese, as a source of concern. Number 9. Nigeria. Another Africa country with large concentration of Chinese is Nigeria. There are migrants who moved to the country and also those that were born in the country but have Chinese ancestry. Back in 1930, colonial Nigeria's census showed four Chinese immigrants residing there. Hong Kong investors started opening factories in Nigeria as early as the 1950s. By 1965 there were perhaps 200 Chinese people in the country. By 1999, that number had grown to 5,800, including 630 from Taiwan and 1,050 from Hong Kong. There were also migrants from Hong Kong and Taiwan moving to the country. There are about 50,000 Chinese living in Nigeria currently and that means that the country has the ninth highest Chinese population in Africa. Number 8. Kenya. Chinese migrating to Kenya can be traced back to the 20th century. Back in 1996, there were few Chinese in the country and there was only one Chinese restaurant in the country which was located in Nairobi, the capital city. However, about 11 years after that, Kenya had up to 40 Chinese restaurants. Most of those restaurants were opened by expatriates from China. A considerable population is living around the Chinese embassy in the country. The two popular lines of business for Chinese living in Kenya are TCM clinics and restaurants. Furthermore, they also run import and export businesses in different items. There is also a Chinese community school in Kenya and it has about 20 teachers and 200 students. 
There are about 50,000 Chinese people living in Kenya, which makes the country the eighth country with the highest estimation of Chinese population in Africa. Number 7. Angola. The total number of Chinese living in Angola is about 50,000. There have been lots of speculations that the population is extremely larger than this. China is the biggest trade partner of Angola and their fourth largest importer. In 2011, the country became the second largest crude oil provider and second largest trade partner in. That same year, their bilateral trade was about $27.67 billion. China has lots of investments in Angola. They have investments in schools, hospitals, agriculture, and so on. Chinese have migrated to the country to purchase economic opportunities. Over 500 Chinese companies have operated in Angola as part of post-war reconstruction. The height of the wave was around 2012 when Angola's Office of Migration and Foreigners stated 258,920 Chinese resided in Angola, the vast majority 258,391 on work visas. The level of the Chinese population since the crash in oil prices in 2014 has fallen dramatically. In 2017, a Chinese business association leader told Bloomberg that the population was approximately 50,000. Many Chinese have left the country recently because of rising crime against Chinese, including rapes, robberies and murder, the depreciation of Angola currency due to the oil crash, and halting of construction contracts by Chinese companies. During a large outbreak of yellow fever in Angola in the spring of 2016, 11 Chinese nationals were reported to have traveled home to China with the disease, with the last case in April 2016. The Chinese strengthened surveillance and sent a medical team to Angola to provide vaccination to Chinese nationals. Angola currently has the seventh estimation of highest population of Chinese in Africa. Number 6. Ethiopia. The number of Chinese people living in Ethiopia has risen over the years. There are about 60,000 Chinese living in the country. A Chinese diplomat in Ethiopia interviewed in December 2014 stated there were 20,000 Chinese while in contrast the Chinese ambassador in Addis Ababa stated there were 60,000 Chinese in January 2016 during a public interview. The Chinese community in the country works mostly in railway, telecom, and businesses. According to the Chinese ambassador, the Chinese community in the country has created about 1 million local jobs. Also in 2007, the first 300 volunteers selected from among 10,000 applicants to a new Chinese government program arrived in Ethiopia, Seychelles, and Zimbabwe. They would perform a variety of work including teaching Chinese, introducing hospital staff to traditional Chinese medicine, and aiding in poultry farming. Like in many African countries, the Chinese are seen as keeping to themselves. In 2007, another New York Times report by Howard French on Chinese in Ethiopia noted that clannish social interaction of Chinese by citing a communal compound of 200 Chinese workers for road and bridge construction, a Chinese construction company, who ate Chinese food, got health care from a Chinese doctor, and did not interact with outsiders. Number 5. Sudan. The relationship between Sudan and China is referred to as a bilateral relation. China is the largest trade partners in Sudan with oil import and exporting low-cost manufactured items. They enjoy relationship in diplomacy, political strategy, and economic trades. This diplomatic relations began in 1959 after Sudan recognized China's sovereignty. Both countries are global allies and have supported themselves during crises and international controversies. Sudan houses about 74,000 Chinese. The country is holding the fifth highest Chinese population in Africa. Number 4. Zambia. The population of Chinese people living in the country has grown rapidly over the years. It began in 1970 with the largest aid project in Zambia which is the construction of the Tazara Railway in Zambia. The construction saw thousands of Chinese workers migrating through the country. As of September 2014, it was reported that there were about 19,845 Chinese living in Zambia. However, the number has increased rapidly over the years. As at 2019, it was reported that there were about 80,000 Chinese living in the country. 
This means that they have the fourth highest Chinese population in Africa. Number 3. Madagascar. In 1862, the first Chinese migrant arrived to Madiv, Madagascar which is now known as Tomasina. The man settled in the country and got married to a local woman. Four years after his arrival, six other Chinese came to Nozi B and then in 1872, three more arrived. Then in 1894, 14 other arrived Mahajanga and then in 1896, 500 Chinese arrived to Madiv. A year later, laborers were transported from China to Madagascar to work on a railway construction. The total number of Chinese living in the country back in 2011 was about 100,000. They mostly live in Tomasina and Antananarivo. The population of Chinese in Madagascar forms the third highest Chinese population in Africa. Number 2. South Africa. According to sources, there are about 400,000 Chinese currently working and living in South Africa. There have been different waves of migration of the Chinese people to South Africa over the years. They have established various multilingual and multi-generational communities of Chinese in the country. Over the years, they have settled in various parts of the country. The new migrants from China are settling in rural towns in South Africa. South Africa currently has the second highest Chinese population in the whole of Africa. Number 1. Ghana. The largest population of Chinese on the continent of Africa is in Ghana. Chinese people began migrating to Ghana since 1940s and most of them came from Hong Kong. However, they began to migrate from mainland China in the 1980s. Although there is no exact value of the number of Chinese currently living in Ghana, they are estimated to be about 700,000. This means that about 2.4% of those living in Ghana are Chinese. Ghana is currently hosting the highest population of Chinese in Africa as a whole. Those are the top 10 African countries with the highest Chinese population. Thanks for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a like, and also share to your friends and family.